So this is my entryway and obviously it's not a big space. There's a glass door right here that gets to the living room and front door right here. It's, I don't know, maybe two and a half by two and a half, at best three by three. So there's a front door here and an empty wall right here. And here's the whole closet. And my project this weekend is to entirely empty this, redesign it, um, reorganize it and then I'm probably gonna paint this door and the trim and this door in white and I have to figure out some kind of decor for this side of the wall here but I can't do much because the door opens all the way over here and so anything I do can't be more than let's say three inches of the wall so here's the closet and the big embarrassment there's a ton of stuff in here Look at this mess. Um, here's a pan from the top. So there's two shelves on the top, but actually not very tall. And then there's a ton of coats. Um, it's just jam-packed. It's ridiculous. And then there's another shelf here. You can't even see it. Maybe over here you can see like a little bit of shelf. I don't know. There's like luggage. There's some boxes, Some a shoe. Uh, I'm assuming that's a coat that fell. I don't know. It's just horrible looking. So. I'm going to empty this, sort out, purge, get rid of some of the coats, like for instance this one, I know it's too small for my little guy, this one, my oldest one absolutely loves it, so that's a stay, that's my favorite coat, um, I may have to look into fixing some buttons and whatnot, but anyway, this is going to be completely purged, and when I'm done, uh, I want to add some baskets here to put hats and scarves, so maybe one basket for uh, my little guy, one for my oldest one, and then another one here for mom and dad. And then there's a shelf here. What is this? Oh, it's another hat. See, I have two hats, but I need a box for those. And there's a bunch of other stuff. What's this? It's a brand new set of um, doorknobs and locks and whatnot. And I think there's some snow suits here. It's probably too small. What's this? Ah, uh, sheets. Yeah, like that belongs here. It's hat, snowsuit. Oh, here's a scarf. Okay, well, um, and this hooks here. I don't know what I'm gonna, what is this? What's this? Oh, it's one of those uh, poles to paint. Okay, well, yeah, like that belongs here too. All right, what do we have here? I can move it. It's, oh, there's some hooks here. I have no idea. Spare keys. Don't even know what door they open. Um, yeah, I have work cut out for me. All right, so let me empty this and then we're gonna look at what it looks like afterwards this what is that hold up just found something else what's what's this a door sweep thing uh, but this with the intention to do a project with it obviously that did not happen so and then the door obviously doesn't close properly so I'm gonna have to fix this I think it's this thing right here that needs a little bit of adjusting and it's an old house the house was built in 1929 so there's a lot of things that hello where are you going this is Vespa hi hello how are you oh you look so good you want to go out yeah okay I'll let you out there you go bye she'll be back in 10 minutes um so this is an old door it's the original door but obviously previous owner had one of those gizmos here that I'm not gonna use so I'm actually take it off or replace it I don't know and then all of this needs to be repainted and uh, put some WB40 in there and there's a little heater here I'd like to take off the door and make it look pretty I've seen a lot of people doing that however my issue here is that the um, this goes directly on the outside and it has not been insulated so this closet in the winter is actually very very cold so I'm not taking the door out it's gonna stay here hence the reason why I gotta fix it so decor here probably a trip to home goods repaint this door paint this door and reorganize the closet in the hall and that is my project for this weekend so let me get started so I got all the coats out and already purged some now we can really see the mess at the bottom so what do I have here I have a pile of keep a pile of wash and a pile of donate and these are all coats so now I have to sort out 
same thing with the shoes what I'm keeping this is obviously going to go somewhere else and then I got to do the top right here and then we'll have an empty closet and here we go it's so empty what I need to do now is probably get some hot water and suds and I'm going to wash the walls the shelves the floor the corners over here thinking that maybe I'll paint the inside too before yeah I may have to do that all right so I might as well just get going and paint the whole inside before I do anything with it but anyway when you look at it empty it actually looks like there's a lot of space it's a regular size closet it's just not very deep I'd say maybe it's uh, let me see uh, about a foot and a half deep and it's about uh, one two maybe three feet long and tall uh, it's probably seven yeah because it keeps going all the way up there so yeah it's not a bad closet I just never used it properly so let me wash this and then I'll be ready to put things back and reorganize with baskets and labels and whatnot So I just completed my first coat. Um, we're in the middle of a heat wave here in New Jersey. And I have to say it's like 105 degrees here. It's super hot and I can't open the door because of this door. So um, I wasn't going to do two coats, but I'm not one to leave a job half done. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to do a second coat. It really looks refreshed, a little bit better, especially at the bottom over there. So, And these I can't, you know, flip them back up. Because they have like those, whatever, but you know how those work anyway. This painting is just like atrocious. I hate it, but you have to do it. So let me go through the motions and then uh, move on. It's right here and all nice two coats. And I have one full coat on both doors. These weren't tricky at all. I thought I was going to have problems. It was actually easy. So that's what it looks like. It looks much, much brighter. I love it. Cleaner, simpler, love it. Now I'm going to go for lunch to let those coats cure. And when I come back, I'll do a second coat. And I'll stop by um, Home Goods to get the baskets and whatever decor I want to put here. Probably put a wreath or something. But anyway, yeah, moving along. Here we go, I'm done. So, front door is painted. It looks so much better. I've replaced this little thing here, which is really useless because, you know, people can break into it. We have an alarm system anyway. The closet door closes now and inside I have this thing here that I bought at Home Goods, and I think it was under $10 and I got those new hangers, the one with the velvet feel, there's probably too many hangers here. And then on top, I have those boxes, those baskets with the uh, fabric um, inserts. The only thing is that I couldn't find three of the same size, so I have one little one or medium size that's going to have a tag that says boys and then one for mom and dad. And I couldn't find baskets that were low enough, so I can't use the other shelf anyway, because even if I was able to use the other shelf, I wouldn't be able to get anything out of the closet. So that shelf is gone, but this is what it looks like. I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to probably use this to put my purses, or at least the ones that I'm currently using. And I still have one mirror. I thought about a wreath, but I'd rather have a mirror right here so I bought a big mirror I'm gonna install that and I actually have a green 
little wreath that I'm gonna put here um, just for decor and that would be it so yeah let me fill it up and show you the final result and the big reveal here it is big reveal so I put a wreath and this wreath is the same color than the baskets and I picked the color for those baskets specifically to match this wreath and I got a mirror on the other side that match the same green and then it has that yellow trim right here detail that's the same color than this and this is melted butter um, who does that? I think it's bare so let me give you a look a little bit further so this is what it looks like so there's a little mirror so you can check yourself out on the way out the door and then when you open the closet everything is in there I have my labels for dad and mom and the boys and in it are hats and gloves I don't think I have anything in mind yet um, and then in this thing I put my two hats right here I have New York mats um, some of our caps and I put my Vera Bradley purses here because that I use them in the summer and I don't want them to lay around the house because it is fabric and they do get a little bit dirty I'm trying to not have to wash them so I have three purses here from Vera Bradley and right here in the last two cubicles I guess or uh, shelves I have the um, snowsuits for the kids and there's still some space here and space here but I'm going to ignore that otherwise I'm pretty sure it's gonna get used so nope I'm not using it um have the boots snow boots here and a pair of little I don't know water uh, boots here on a tray so the floor doesn't get damaged and I have four extra hangers and I'm putting over here but I'm gonna try my best not to use them because otherwise this is gonna get stuff. So I pared down a lot of the coats. Some of our coats I realized were more um, evening coats, like if you go out and it's kind of a fancy event, you know, like with the uh, velvet trim or whatever. So those went to the basement. So here we just have regular raincoat and then Scott's winter jacket and then two of my wool coat and Scott's leather jacket and another one of those uh, fleece thing and then the free coats for the kids and that's just about it um, I don't want to put anything else in here I think I did a good job it looks much much better and the entryway itself looks finished and I like that this is just exactly what I wanted it looks great I love it all right, this is Sophia from migratechallenge.blogspot.com. Uh, thumbs up if you liked this video and if you want to see more challenge projects and organization and cleaning or whatnot, um, watch my other videos and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.